Hello guys, welcome to the Light Technology. I am Surin. Today we are going to discuss about how to connect MySQL database into R. So first of all, we require R MySQL library to connect MySQL database into R. So if you have a library already installed in your system, you can run the command library and the R MySQL. If you don't, you can install that library using install.packages R MySQL. In my system the library is already installed yeah it's working perfectly fine now before going to fetch or before going to access any database or any record from your database you need to create a connection similar to java we need to create a connection here also so i'm going to create a connection using the variable my db db connect mysql is the connection parameter the same as it is Username, your username, password, your database password, database name, and port number. So, MySQL port number means the default port number of MySQL is 3306. So, connection is already created here. Yeah, so connection is working perfectly fine. Now, I'm going to check the how many records or how many tables already present in my database. So I'm using the com uh, command db list table. It will gives you the list of tables present in your database. So I'm going to check the database here. It will give me that list of uh, tables which is present in my system or in my database. So I have five tables, customers, department, employee, orders, and salary. So next thing is that if you have a table and if you want to drop the table so you can use the command db send query if the table is already present it will uh, drop the table from your database so i'm using this command i'm going to drop my table department here we go yeah so my department table is deleted now you can check how many table present right now so it will give me four tables there is a four table present now because department table were deleted So now in the next phase we are going to create a table how to create a table in your database using r so the command will use here db send query your database connection parameter and your sql uh, connection request is create table department your variable i mean your column name which you want to create department id and department name to where column name i'm going to create here yeah so my department table is created fine now again if you want to check if the table is created or not in your database you can use a command db list tables it will give you your list of tables in your database now next phase we are going to insert the data into table so you will i mean so we can use the command db send query your database connection is already default my db and uh, mysql con parameter is that insert into department and value whatever you are going to do you can put the value yeah so here yeah, the database table is created now now i'm going to face the record from table how to face the record from database table into r so it's a simple we will use the same command db send query it will send request to your connection parameter to your database and it will face the record based on your uh, sql query so here i'm going to face the record from department select start from department it will give me the, all the record from table department yeah so it's correctly fine so i'm, I'm having all the records in my variable records so if you want to create uh, print this record it will not give you the result right because that uh, value will be inserted in the form of uh, row and column and all the record will be inserted in the record so we are going to fetch only top one record or top last record or five or ten based on the requirement we can fetch the record so we'll use the function fetch it will fetch the data based on that credentials or based on the requirement so here I'm going to use the function and I'm going to fetch only one record because I have only one record. If I, I have more than one record, I can put the value 
here n equal to 2 phi 10 like that you can we can use this thing so now i have one record so the my record will be uh, inserted in data dot frame so now i'm going to print my record so either you can directly use print function or if you want to see your record in the form of table so you can use view and your uh, variable name so if you want to run in console so you can use print data dot frame it will give you that one record and two column department id and department table it's sorry department name and uh, if you want to run in the form of table so you can use the command view and your variable name data dot frame so it will give you the column name department id and department name so i hope guys you will be understand about this thing because it's a pretty much inter uh, easy in the next session we will discuss about how to crawling a web page using python uh, thank you guys